Because you were also on night court. Do you remember that one? Oh, of course I do. I was a street walker. Awesome. Um, well, I love yeah. night court. So tell me about night court. Oh, that was fun. Harry Anderson was the greatest. I mean, everybody, Marky Post, uh, yeah. everybody on there was so wonderful. It was so much fun. It's one of those shows when you walk on the set, everybody goes, hi, nice yeah. to see you. Oh, we're so glad you're here. And yeah. you immediately become part of the cast. Yeah, some shows nice. aren't like that. So oh, when some it shows doesn't... are definitely not like that. Yeah, <laughs> it changes yeah. everything. Yeah. It's good to hear that shows you enjoyed had nice people like Richard yeah. Mull and John Larroquette and all those. All of them. Yeah. Harry Anderson was like the best person. And then he moved up to Oregon, which is my home state, oh, which made him like him even more. Yeah. Was he a really, he was a magician and real. Yeah. He, tricks he, would do yeah, was he was a right? real magician. Oh, neat. Yeah. He yeah. redid Harvey. Yeah. Yes. He was that? really good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He was great. Wow. all these people what is it like and this is this question is for both of you what you know what there's obviously when you're working on a series for a long time and you get to know the people and you have this thing what's it like being on the guest star or the guest slot uh coming in with all these regular <laughs> I, I always wanted to write i did a guest on six feet under right which was like really hot at that time and you know I'm, um, I don't, Susan, did you ever do Six Feet Under? No. Okay. They're not like, like, I think we on our show, we were a pretty friendly cast, right? Yeah. When we had guest artists, we would always like say hi to them in the makeup trailer. And, you know, I think we were a really welcoming bunch. Six Feet Under was not exactly like that. You know, they were kind mm -hmm. of like, we're the big cheeses. They were very, oh, not really standoffish, but a little bit, you know. But I remember at lunchtime, at lunch, I thought to myself, I had my tray because I'd gone to the catering truck. And I remember I thought, I haven't felt this way since fourth grade, where oh. you don't you don't know what table to sit at, right? Yeah. yeah. If you don't have a spot and you don't like you don't like know everybody. And you know, and sometimes people are like, sometimes you work on a show where you know people. Like I've we worked on many shows, I'm sure, Susan, where you know makeup artists and you know grips mm -hmm. and you know people you've worked with before and then it's easy because they're like oh come and sit let's catch up but there was just this it was this day that I just sort of didn't really know anybody and I stood there with my tray and I was like mm. Mm, where do I go yeah. or the popular kids <laughs> that yeah. happened to me on a Bob Newhart iteration really where I went to the set for the read-through nobody spoke to me um, oh. and I introduced myself and they all went hmm Ew. and then they just walked away and and I was left sitting there and then they started rehearsing scenes that I wasn't in and I went up and I sat in the audience seats and I started crying. I really felt that same feeling like, oh, they don't, they didn't want me. Yeah, here. you feel like, yeah. you feel like you're like the, un, like the unpopular kid in elementary school. Yeah. It's really like a trigger, you know? Yeah, the mm -hmm. casting really director cool. came in and she said, oh, don't worry, they do this to everybody. Ugh. So that I don't think like, why would you do that? Because you want to get the best work out of your guest artists and you want them to feel comfortable and you want them to feel relaxed. Yeah. You yeah. don't want them to feel on edge or uncertain, but I guess it's like some weird like power play or something, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know.